Okay, so I'm just going to show you a very basic but effective woolly bugger pattern that I like to tie and fish. Um, it's just a peach bugger. So I tie it with a tungsten head, uh, with a tungsten bead on there. You can use any type of bead that you like. I just like tungsten. It gets down quicker. So I'm going to build up my thread base behind the head. When you're tying, um, tying a bead head on there or um, a cone head or anything, it's good to build up a thread base so it doesn't slide back and forth on you. So I got that on there. I'm just going to wrap this. You don't need to make it nice and neat over the hook because you're just going to be covering up with material. I'm going to run my thread right back to the point of the hook. Then I'm going to take some peach marabou. Another thing you want to do if you're new to tying buggers is you want to be sure that the length of your tail is the length of the hook. You don't want to make it longer than that. One, it'll foul up and two, it looks very unnatural and the fish just don't like it. So be sure you measure it off. Put your fingers up to the front of the hook. Be sure it comes right back to where the bend starts. Measure it off. Once you're good, go ahead and wrap that on there. Another thing, if you're new to uh, tying, be sure you're pinching that material and tying it on there very, very snug. Give it a bunch of wraps. Be sure your material is not going to spin on you or anything else. And then we're going to be using the flesh or the peachy flesh um, large cactus chenille. And then I'm going to tie that on right where my thread wraps end, right at the point of the hook there. And again, give it a bunch of wraps. You don't want this material coming off on you. And then work it right back up to the head, and I'm just going to put a hatch hitch in here. Because I'm using a rotary vise, and I'm just going to use this to my advantage and spin this. So don't mistake this one for the Golden Retriever. Uh, this is not the Golden Retriever. This is just a very basic, simple to tie, but again, very effective peach-colored woolly bugger. So I just wrap that up to the head. Give it a few wraps. Wrap behind your material three, four, five times to be sure it's not going to come undone. Give it a good tug there. Pull it down tight snip it off. I'm just going to throw a couple half hitches in here behind that bead. Tie everything down. There you go. And that is it. Very quick but very effective pattern. So a little peach bugger. Give it a try. See if it works for you.